Sarike Dembele, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. Give us your first impressions of what you've seen of the club. Um, first of all, obviously driving in, it's a, it's a nice place. Um, and coming to the club, it looks very good. The facilities look nice. Now, if reports are to be believed, a number of clubs were interested. What tipped the balance to come here for you? Um, for me, honestly, it's because I see Bournemouth getting promoted to the Premier League. Um, that's why I think I've, I've decided to come here. Now, for any supporters who might not have seen you play, j just tell us a little bit about yourself, your style of play. And I think you can play a number of different positions as well. Yeah, um, first I'm a, I'm a left winger. Um, I can play 10 off the front. Um, but the type of player I am, I like to entertain. I like to enjoy myself. I like to assist, score goals, make things happen. Um, yeah, I just enjoy playing football, so I, I like to entertain the fans. At the end of the day, I think, um, you know, fans come to games, we want to win, but they want to be entertained. They want to go back home, you know, entertain. So I, that's what I like to do. You've clearly read my next question there. I've seen some clips of some of your goals and assists, and you are a bit of a crowd pleaser, a bit of a box of tricks. Is that fair to say? Yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Um, like I said, I, I, since a young age, I like enjoying you know, doing new things, trying things, and um, I like to have fun with it. Now, you played against the Cherries in a nil-nil draw in September. What did you make of Scott Parker's team on that day? If I'm honest, I like the way they, they played football. Um, I think they've got um, a, a good style of play, um, which is also one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here. Um, the style of football, I think it suits to how I play. Played under some good managers already. How much are you looking forward to working with Scott Parker and his team? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. He's a young manager. Um, you know, he's got his team playing the right way, which I which I like. Um, and yeah, he seems like a good guy as well, which which is which is nice. Now, again, if reports are to be believed, you were linked with Fulham when Scott was was the manager there. It must be great for you to have a manager who clearly wants to work with you. No, 100%. Um, I just met him just there. Um, really nice guy. And um, yeah, th there's nowhere better to go than where you're wanted. Um, so I think that's important. You played in League Two and you've played in League One. You were promoted out of League One last season with Peterborough. How have you found the step up to the Championship this season? Uh, you know, people talk about the Championship being a difficult league and everything. On a personal note, um, that's not the way I see it. I think it's... Um, Maybe the Premier League is, is the step where it's a bit um, different. You'll see the real difference. I think the, the championship is, I think it's um, not as hard as people make it um, seem out to be. This is on a personal note. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a good league though. And um, having a very good team, I think, you know, it could, it could be very good. What would you say the main differences are between League One and the championship for an attacking player? I think chances created, maybe. You, you have more chances created um, but that also depends on the team um, you're playing with uh, several teams you know still create a lot of uh, chances in the, in the championship I don't see too much of a difference if I'm honest uh, from league one in, in the championship um, the teams are better in the in the championship have more money but I don't see the, the difference too much in terms of football I think it's probably fair to say that in your career you haven't had anything handed to you on a plate I know you were born on Ivory Coast and your Wikipedia profile says you relocated with your family to London in search of better footballing opportunities in 2004. Is that right? And just tell us about that. Um, so my family moved from Ivory Coast to London, not for footballing reason at all. This, this was just my parents' um, decision, not mine. And then um, we moved to, to Glasgow and we've been living in Glasgow ever since. And that's obviously where the, the, the football, the formative years you spent with Dundee United and Air United. Just tell us a little bit about how you got into that. Yeah, so I was at Dundee United um, youth team from, I don't know if it was on the 10s to what it was. Um, I was I, I was at Air for a little um, time, but it wasn't, I wasn't at Air like that. Um, and yeah, found myself at Nike and then Grimsby. And here we are today. So just tell us a little bit about that Nike Football Academy. Not everybody knows about that. I know you were working with John Goodman and Matt, and Matt Murray, the goalkeeper coach there. Just tell us about how you sort of fell into that. It was a trial that you, you progressed from. Yeah, so basically it's just 
um, a, a program, you know, and you play games uh, and people are there to watch all the time and you, you can get scouted from it basically. And you, you do a trial to, to get to Nike. Um, so I went to that and stayed for, for a year. Uh, very good, amazing place. Um, and then from there, Grimsby were interested. So then went to Grimsby. And Matty Cash is an old boy of the Nike Academy as well. Another player plying his trade in the Premier League. So it just shows you that, that you can step make that step. Of course, um, there's different ways to, to, to play first team football. Um, not everyone's path is the same. Uh, I, I mean, there'll be some players that play for Premier League clubs at academy level, but they don't end up playing for that um, Premier League club. So it doesn't matter really how you do it, um, as long as you do it. So everyone's got their own path. You had your first season in the league, in League Two with Grimsby. Now, for the sort of player you are, that must have been some apprenticeship coming up against some of these giant defenders. I've seen one of your cheeky goal celebrations in a video. How did you go down in League Two? Um, I can't lie to you. League Two was, it was good, but it was difficult uh, in terms of, like you said, the way I play. So, yeah, and there's not much football going on there. So it was, it was difficult, but yeah. You've certainly encountered some characters in your career. I know Steve Evans, I think, signed you at Peterborough and you, and you played under Darren Ferguson there as well. Just tell us about those two guys. Uh, Steve Evans is a top guy um, on a human level. Um, what, what, a, what a guy he is. I know, um, you know, he can be a bit crazy, but he's, he's, he's a top guy. Um, and he was the one that brought me um, to Peterborough. And Darren Ferguson, he's a nice guy as well. Um, now, you qualify for Ivory Coast, England and Scotland. You've probably been probed about this before. Any thoughts on, obviously, moving to a top end of the championship now? You've got to be looking at internationals as well. Have you had any thoughts on what would happen if that, the situation arose? Um, if I'm honest, um, I have Ivory Coast in mind, but the truth is um, I haven't made a final decision on um, which one I would pick. When the time comes, I, I, I don't know. Just while we've got you, can you set the record straight on this being related to Yaya and Colo Torre? Um, we aren't related to them. Um, my dad was in the army with, with uh, their dad, so they know each other, but um, we're not related to them now.